Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a new feature that allows the authors to turn on the visualization toolbar for consumer users. Now let's look at the current experience. Uh, I opened this workbook as an end user uh, slash consumer user. You can see that when I hover over to the visualization, the toolbar for the visualization only shows me the maximized op uh, option. And similarly, when you uh, hover over for the maps, maps has a default set of uh, toolbar options that's available for the consumer users. Now let's uh, look at the new experience we've added in present for authors to control what kind of uh, toolbar options can be made visible for your end users at every canvas that is participating in the presentation flow of your dashboard. I'm going to go into the authoring mode and uh, go to present. And you can see that there is one canvas uh, that is participating in the presentation flow. And let's navigate to the active canvas properties. And under this section, you can see that we've added a new visualization toolbar under the visualization actions accordion. The default options enabled for the visualization toolbar is maximize and map actions, which is very specific to the map visualization. And then there's also add to watch list, which is a new feature we enabled for the authors. Watch lists for consumer users will be available in a future release. If the author chooses to expose add to watch list as a toolbar option, then this option will only be available to those users who have edit access to the workbook. So for my demo here, I'm going to uncheck on maximize and I want to choose change visualization type and sort. These are the three actions that I want to provide for the visualizations on my canvas. Now let's go ahead and save the workbook. Let's load the workbook in a preview mode. Uh, the workbook will load as a consumer user would see. Now when I hover over and expand on the toolbar, you can see that there is the sort panel uh, for the scatter so I can change uh, the sorting actions on this dialog. But the more interestingly, there's also the visualization panel. So let's just say that I want to change this from a scatter chart to maybe a, a line chart, uh, right? So the user, the consumer user now has the option to interact with the visualization uh, format, not just the content, but also the format and the shape of the data based on the controls the authors has curated for the end users on the dashboarding experiences. One thing to note is that any change done to the visualization uh, using these toolbar options is only for that session. These changes are not saved or persisted for the end users. Thank you for watching this video.